Google plus perplexity, a super agent combo is insane. Google just dropped something insane. And when you combine it with perplexity, it gets even crazier. I'm talking about AI agents that actually do the work for you. No more clicking around or copying and pasting. This is the real deal and it's available right now. So let's talk about what just happened. Google launched something called Deep Research and it's built right into Gemini. This thing is not like normal AI chat. It's an agent. That means it goes out and does research for you on its own. You give it a task and it runs off and finds information, reads articles, checks sources, and comes back with a full report. But here's where it gets wild. When you combine this with Perplexity's new features, you basically have two AI agents working for you at the same time. Now let me break down what deep research actually does. You open up Gemini Advanced, you type in a question or a research topic, then you turn on deep research mode. Once you hit go, Gemini creates a research plan for you. It shows you what it's going to look for. You can edit this plan or just let it run. Then it goes out and starts reading web pages, articles, studies, whatever it needs. It takes time, sometimes five minutes, sometimes 20 minutes, but it's doing real work. It's not just pulling from one source. It's checking multiple sources and putting together a real report for you. Hey, if we haven't met already, I'm the digital avatar of Julian Goldie, CEO of SEO agency, Goldie Agency. Whilst he's helping clients get more leads and customers, I'm here to help you get the latest AI updates. This is huge for anyone doing content creation, anyone doing SEO, anyone running a business, because research takes forever. You know how long it takes to read 10 articles and pull out the good stuff? Hours. Deep research does it in minutes, and the reports it gives you are actually good. They have sections, they have sources, they have real information you can use. But let me show you why the perplexity combo makes this even better. Perplexity just added a new feature where you can ask it to search specific sources. You can tell it to only look at certain websites. You can tell it to focus on news from the last week. You can even tell it to ignore certain types of sources. This level of control is insane. So here's what you do. You run deep research in Gemini to get a broad overview of your topic. Then you take the gaps or questions that come up and you use perplexity to drill down into specific areas. So this is the workflow, broad research with Gemini deep research, specific targeted research with perplexity. Then you have everything you need to create amazing content or make business decisions or whatever you're trying to do. And the best part is both of these tools are doing the work for you. You're not reading 50 articles. You're not taking notes. You're not organizing information. The AI agents are doing all of that. But here's something most people don't realize. These tools aren't just for content creation. You can use them for competitive research. You can use them for market research. You can use them to find opportunities in your niche. Let me show you how. Say you run a local business. You want to know what your competitors are doing. You use deep research to analyze your top five competitors, what services they offer, what their pricing looks like, what customers are saying about them. Gemini goes out and pulls all that information together. Then you use perplexity to search for gaps in the market. What are people in your area complaining about? What needs aren't being met? What keywords are your competitors not targeting? Now you have a complete picture of your market and you know exactly where to focus. The same thing works for product research. You want to launch a new product or service. Use deep research to understand the market. Use perplexity to find what people are actually searching for and talking about. You'll know if there's demand before you spend a dime. And here's where it gets really interesting. You, you can use these tools to stay ahead of trends. Gemini Deep Research can analyze patterns and predict what's coming next in your industry. Perplexity can find the earliest signals of new trends by searching recent news and social media. When you combine both, you can spot opportunities before your competitors even know they exist. Now, let me talk about the AI profit boardroom for a second. This is exactly the kind of stuff we dive into. How to use AI tools like this to actually scale your business and make more money. We have members who are using these exact strategies to grow their agencies, their content sites, their local businesses. If you want to learn how to implement this stuff the right way and connect with other people who are actually doing it, check out the AI Profit Boardroom at the link in the description. This is where you go from learning about AI to actually making money with it. Okay, back to the combo. Let me give you some specific use cases that are working right now. First, Keyword research, use deep research to analyze a broad topic in your niche. It will naturally surface the questions people are asking and the subtopics that matter. Then take those subtopics and run them through perplexity to find the exact keywords and search volumes. You now have a complete keyword strategy built by AI. Second, content briefs. Create a content brief for your writers or for yourself. Use deep research to get the overall structure and key points. Use perplexity to find specific stats, quotes, and examples. 
your brief will be 10 times better than anything you could create manually, and it takes a fraction of the time. Third, email campaigns. Research your audience with deep research. Find out what problems they have, what solutions they're looking for, what language they use. Then use perplexity to find recent news and trends you can reference in your emails. Your campaigns will be way more relevant and timely. Fourth, video scripts. Yeah, like this one, research your topic with both tools, get the facts straight, find interesting angles, pull in current examples. Your scripts will be more valuable and more engaging. Fifth, client reports. If you run an agency like I do, you know how much time goes into research for client reports and strategies. These tools cut that time in half. Use deep research for industry analysis. Use perplexity for competitive analysis and recent changes. Your clients get better insights and you save hours of work. Now, let me address something important. Some people think AI is going to replace research skills. That's not what's happening. These tools make good researchers even better. You still need to know what questions to ask. You still need to understand your market. You still need to verify information and think critically. But now you can do 10 times more research in the same amount of time. That's the real advantage. And here's the thing about agents. This is just the beginning. Deep research is one of the first real AI agents available to regular people. Perplexity is adding more agent features. Other companies are working on similar tools. In the next year, we're going to see AI agents that can do way more than just research. They'll be able to complete entire workflows, book appointments, send emails, create content, manage projects. The people who learn how to use agents now will have a massive advantage when these more advanced tools come out. Once you have both tools, start simple. Pick one research project, something you need to know about for your business. Run it through deep research first, see what kind of report you get, then look for gaps or questions that need more detail. Take those to perplexity and search for specific answers. Do this a few times and you'll start to develop a feel for how to use both tools together. One mistake I see people make is asking questions that are too narrow or too broad. With deep research, you want to give it a meaty topic, not just a simple question you could Google. Something like, what are the most effective content strategies for B2 BSA AS companies in 2025? That gives it room to do real research. With perplexity, you can be more specific. What B2B SaaS companies have the highest organic traffic growth in the last six months? See the difference? Deep research for broad topics, perplexity for specific questions, Another mistake is not editing the research plan in deep research. When you start a deep research query, Gemini shows you what it plans to look into. Most people just hit go. But you should look at that plan, add areas you want it to focus on, remove stuff that's not relevant. This makes the final report way more useful. Let me show you how this applies to different business models. If you're in e-commerce, use deep research to understand product trends and customer behavior. Use perplexity to find specific products that are selling well and where to source them. If you're in affiliate marketing, research niches with deep research and find specific affiliate programs and keywords with perplexity. If you're building a personal brand, research topics your audience cares about and find trending conversations to join. The key is understanding that research is the foundation of everything. Good content comes from good research. Good marketing comes from knowing your market. Good products come from understanding customer needs. These tools make it possible to have a level of research and insight that used to only be available to big companies with research teams. That's what I want for you too. I want you to have the tools and the knowledge to build something real, to make actual money, to have freedom and options. That's why I created the AI Profit Boardroom. It's the best place to learn how to scale your business, get more customers, and save hundreds of hours with AI automation. We go deep on strategies like this. We share what's working right now. We help each other implement and get results. If you're serious about using AI to grow your business, this is where you need to be. Check out the link in the description.